What is up and welcome to Bodybuilders for Christ. What's up guys? I actually grew up in a town in the Midwest, Plainview, Nebraska. It's a town, literally 1,300 people. The classic joke is there's more cows than people there. I'm very thankful that I had a great mother and father, uh, both very, very awesome Christian people. So I actually received a lot of education about my faith at home as well as at school. So I went to a Lutheran school there from kindergarten through eighth grade and I actually ended up going to a private or a public school uh, starting as a freshman there and then as I got into college I went to a community college there in Northport, Nebraska for a bit so I've been around and I've actually done a lot of researching uh, after actually uh, high school just on why I believe what I believe because I've had a handful of conversations good ones and not so good ones to be honest with you with non-believers and atheists and it made me really question not question my faith but it made me really look into why do I believe what I believe because my parents told it to me or because that's what I've always thought? Or is there actual worldly evidence outside of the Bible to believe that Jesus Christ is our Savior? Me. So I first actually got into the nutrition industry in 2012, and this is kind of an interesting story. So I actually went down to Concordia College here in Nebraska in Seward for an entire week and then dropped out. I literally had like two hours before I started owing money and then I dropped out that Monday at before noon, before I actually owed any money. So I was down there, really didn't know what to do, and I actually opened up a little supplement store inside of a gym down there for like two months. I had no idea what I was doing. I literally didn't do anything properly with registering with the state. I thought I did, and again, I wasn't doing anything illegal on purpose, but didn't register sales tax right. It was a mess, but I got my toes in the water and made a handful of sales. So I mean, that was my first touch uh, with the nutrition industry. So. Fast forward, I moved back to uh, my hometown there and I started working at a factory around that area. And then I actually got a job offer with Rexius Nutrition and that's where I'm still at with today actually. But uh, so I started there in 2000, later on in 2012, I believe in July. And then I started working there four to eight hours a week is all. And then I was doing other work on the side. I was working uh, for Walmart, I was working for Envisions. And then I just kept on working there and I did some network marketing on the side as well. So we, you know, it was kind of not door to door, but you know, tell your family and friends about a product and service and then try to pitch them on the deal. And it was great. Went to many trainings across the nation actually for a couple of years. A lot of our friends got involved and it was a really, really good experience. So that taught me a lot about just mental, mental development and personal development and all that kind of stuff. So. After that, I kept on working uh, for Rexius. Then in 2015, I started selling cars for a couple months, so that was one more, a uh, little bit of a good experience there. Then actually, I did that for three months, and then uh, I just was like, why don't we start our own Rexius Nutrition? So that's what we did. So in 2016, me and one of my best friends in the whole world, uh, he was teaching at the time, and then we decided to open one up together in Fremont, Nebraska. Then fast forward later that year in August, we opened one, Arexius Nutrition, in uh, Maryville, Missouri. So that it's all a lot happened. Then I think it was that November we took over the store in Columbus, Nebraska. Bought that one. Uh, then we opened one up in April of 2017. Just a minority owner in that one, but in Lincoln, Nebraska. And then we ended up selling the Columbus location there. Uh, let me think here. They're in 2018, I believe. And then Lincoln, Nebraska. We opened up a second location there, and again, I'm just a minority owner in that guy right there, but it is a good experience. And then the big one that we did would have been Maryville, Missouri again. We moved that location. We ended up, there was a gym there in town, a uh, great guy that owned that gym, but he unfortunately closed down, so we ended up buying some of his equipment, adding more, reopening the gym by another name inside of the same building, actually, so we moved the Rexius inside of the gym there in Maryville, Missouri. So that's one of our uh, big endeavors down there. So right now we have uh, Rexius in Fremont. That's where me and Jamie own that one. And then uh, we have just a minority ownership, Jamie and I do in the Lincoln store. Then we also have uh, Jamie and I and then one other business partner in Maryville, Missouri. Oh yeah, then we actually, it was really cool in our hometown in 2000, let me think here, 2000, Going into 2018, I believe, we opened up a gym in Plainview, which is a town of 1,300 people or so. 
So that was a really good experience. And we actually ended up selling that one uh, in Plainview, Nebraska to a really nice guy there. He does, he's gonna do an awesome job with that gym and grow it and everything. So uh, like I said, I have a eight plus years in the nutrition industry now. And gosh, I wouldn't be able to be here without obviously God first, my amazing wife and business partners and everything. So definitely uh, it's a journey and <laughs> made a lot of mistakes, but you know, it's it's been a lot of fun and I wouldn't rather be doing anything else. So that's a little bit about me.